Sup, dogs? Welcome to my Black Ops 2 gameplay commentary. And this is my first game without lag. That's right, guys. This is on the PC, and there was problems with it when it first came out. And I don't know what it was, but I had some bad frame rate issues with this game. And I couldn't play it. Like, I, I could play it, but I would suck because the, the game was just so freaking laggy every 10 seconds I would get lag spikes and I know I thought it was my computer at first but then now after this patch I know my computer can handle it cuz look at me I'm doing decent in this game and I'm not saying like I was sh so shitty that I had to find a group of shitty players to do good no cuz I was losing gunfights I should have won and I know I should have won them because I fucked up like every time I get into a fight I would lag out and then I'll start shooting the ground and then that sucks cuz like it's not I'm dying I'm not dying because of my fault I'm dying because I'm lagging and that's irritating because I know I would have killed them if I didn't lag and hopefully this game is awesome so this is my first game without lag I'm level 19 I tried playing this game you know I love Call of Duty um, I tried playing this game, trying to deal with the lag, but I just gave up and I stopped after a while. I think after the second day I quit playing Black Ops 2. But um, now that the patch came out, I just noticed it today that it was downloading on Steam. And I was so happy. I was hoping that it would fix this lag issue. And it did. So now I'm blacking it. And I'm kicking ass, as you can tell. I got three kills, one death. Not bad, not bad. So let's see how well I can do in this game. This is recorded in theater mode, so I'm just recording it. So, um... Yeah, you can see what my first game is without lag, and I was so happy because this is how I feel I should be playing in every game. I mean, I'm not shitty. I mean, I'm decent at the game, as you can tell by this gameplay. Like, freaking grenade! Grenade! I don't know. Have you guys ever watched that guy, um, Jive Turkey? He's freaking funny, man. I love his commentaries on his on COD. I, I don't know. And he actually replies to his subscribers, which is awesome, because he's like 20,000 subscribers and he still replies to them. Like, he even replied to me and I was like surprised. I'm like, I never had like a famous person on YouTube like say anything to me, so that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, so this game, I think they lied to us though. They said on PC they was going to have dedicated servers and they was going to make the game a lot better for PC. But what I see is the same exact shit that Modern Warfare 3 did. And what that means for the future of this game on PC is hackers. And a lot of hackers. I can already tell there's going to be so many hackers. And I just hope they fix the problem. Because hacking on Modern Warfare 3 went unchecked. I know there's a reporting system in this game. But let's see how good that thing is. I got my first lightning strike here. Look at the, look at the position I'm calling it in. This part of the map. You'll see it a little bit later, and you'll see what I do in that same position. And this is the Hunter Killer drone. It's like a remote control air. You, know, you don't control it. It's like a airplane that you throw in the air, and it kamikazes into somebody and kills them. And I don't like it that much because every time I try to like throw it at somebody, it hits a rock, which sucks. Because you earned that kill streak. And I got some shitty gun. I didn't know how slow firing this gun was. It doesn't seem to have a lot of recoil, so I'm just trying out the new guns. I mean, I was using the MP7 earlier, but the thing is with the Hunter Killer, you can also throw it in the air. I learned it in this game, actually. I was just wondering if it would do that, but I know I seen it in a, I seen it in a trailer, so I know that you can throw it in the air and it just circles around and finds somebody to kill. So that's pretty cool, but I still don't like it because it always hits rocks and doesn't get many kills for me. It's, it shouldn't be a surefire kill because I'd make it OP and everybody would use it just to get an extra kill. But um, still, it's a kill streak. I expected to get a kill if it's like designed for that. If it's like an RC car where you control it, then I would understand. But I don't know. I think the MP7 in this game. Speaking of the gun, um, it sucks because <laughs> I don't know if it really sucks. I just think it's more balanced than it was in M M a Modern Warfare 3, which. Which makes it alright, because <clears throat> not having overpowered weapons in a game is makes it more balanced. And ha being more balanced is actually better, because then you don't die to like Type 95s and freaking MP7s from across the map. I mean, I like the MP7, but I know I didn't like the MP7 at times. It depends on who used it. Like, if you're using it, you're like, yeah, fuck yeah, MP7. Like, look at this! Like, 
freaking I should have died there like how the hell did I not die I'm, I said it before I'm not playing against the best of players but you know it feels good not lagging and losing to players like that because that was like a huge freaking turn off from this game like just gunfights after gunfights I would lose that wasn't my fault I would just lag and start shooting like some random object and that was so irritating I couldn't play it, it made the game unplayable I'm not complaining that the game was bad I get my second lightning strike and look where I am again same freaking place with the same kill streak and that's so weird I didn't think I was gonna do that but who knows man this game and this is like my first game without lag so freaking holy crap I was surprised I was doing so good like you never expect to find lobbies with this bad of people but like I don't know I thought I was gonna get that guy after I reload but he had his friend up there who knows man they're everywhere in this map and I don't know where the hell I am most of the time because you know when you first play a Call of Duty game, you're trying to familiar familiarize yourself with the map so that you know where you're going, what's the good places to, to like go through, learn your routes that you want to take, especially if you're a rusher like me. As you can see, I'm like all over the map at every point. I don't stay in one place. And that's how I like to play. I like to be in the action. I don't like waiting for the action to come to me. I like to start the action. So that's how I play. And I know a lot of people play like me, so that's pretty cool. And Black Ops 2, the ghosting, man. You always want to be... I didn't even see this guy. I walked right past him and he was just on his stomach the whole time. I'm using the perks Hardline, um, Cold-Blooded, Toughness, and I forgot the last one. But I'm using the, the Wild Card, which is for the secondary perk, I think. Which is pretty cool because I like having um, a Wild Card instead of having a secondary weapon. Because, you know, I personally never liked using secondary weapons. Because, um... I don't know, it just felt like a waste of space to me, because like, I only used it if I ran out of ammo, and if you have a perk like Scavenger, you never run out of ammo, so I'd rather have Scavenger than have a freaking secondary weapon, because who, who wants a secondary weapon when you can just have unlimited ammo for your main weapon? As long as you're getting kills, you should have ammo, and that's how I feel, so I would rather get like a wild card with freaking, I don't know. Maybe it will be worth it because it, I think a wild card costs one point and then the other point would go to getting the perk. So maybe it will be worth it I guess but I still like having scavenger because it's pretty good. You never know when you're going to need ammo. Like you might die if you switch to a pistol because they're too far away but your main weapon can like do good at long range and close range. So that's pretty cool. But um, I really like the wild card system in this game. I like the, the create a class. It's really simple. And this game, let's see how good I'm doing. 28 kills and 8 deaths. Not bad. Not bad at all, guys. First game without lag and I start shining. It feels so good, man. And uh, I was using the, the... I forget what grenade that was. It's a tactical that paints your enemies on the map when, you, when it gets into their line of sight, which is pretty awesome. It's like a recon, which is pretty cool because they incorporated all the perks and, and attachment in... Wait, no. They incorporated all the perks of the game from Modern Warfare 3 into, like, attachments for your game. So that's awesome. I mean, you don't need to get, like, a perk like Recon just to freaking throw a tactical, like, flash grenade to, like, find people across the map or something. I mean, you can, like, just throw your freaking tactical grenade, see if they're there, and then find them. Like, it's pretty cool. And you'll know what I mean. Um, let me know if you guys like the video, like Black Ops 2. Let me know if you want to see more. Be sure to like the video, favorite it, and be become a dog if you're new, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace!